This is Nvidia's campus. Wow, it is so glossy. So hello everyone, today we are with Piyush, a software engineer at Nvidia. So hi Piyush, can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, so hi, my name is Piyush Medikeri. I'm a system software engineer at Nvidia. I've been working here for almost now three years and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Awesome. So first let's start with how you made it to Nvidia. Can you share your background? And So uh, I'll start with my undergrad. So uh, I'm from India. Uh, basically, I started my undergrad in 2015. I did my undergrad from RB College of Engineering, Bangalore in electronics and communication and then I did an internship uh, back in Japan in a startup called Plan Robotics. That's where I learned most of the robotics, ROS and ROS2 and everything. And then I moved to the US for my masters. I did my masters uh, from ASU, Arizona State University in robotics, specialization in AI and then interned at MathWorks uh, again in the ROS Toolbox team and then finally got a job here. So, awesome! Yeah. So you had like experience in AI as well? Yes, a little bit of experience in AI. My master's specialization was in AI, but mostly it was in robotics. Yeah. Oh nice! So when you applied for NVIDIA, do you think your AI skills were helpful in getting a job at NVIDIA? Because you know, you are part of AI first revolution. Yeah. Definitely, yeah, it was helpful. So during my master's course, I did a lot of reinforcement learning and all that stuff. So it did help me, uh, you know, uh, there were questions related to that. So it helped me answer those questions. So yeah, I would say definitely it helped. Yeah. So now talking about your responsibilities here, can you share a, as a chipset company, like I have also interviewed here and mm -hmm. I was, you know, um, asked very low level, bit level manipulation questions and I really enjoyed those interviews as well. Right. So in terms of your role at NVIDIA, so what do you do like in terms of robotics? What tech stack you use you don't need to talk about internal stuff right. what overall skills are needed to work at nvidia i mean i would say it depends uh, varies quite a bit because my interview process was back three years ago so i'm pretty sure it has changed but back then uh, my background was mostly in uh, robotics that is ROS and then uh, ROS 2 and then a little bit of python and c++ so that's what uh, was uh, mainly required and apart from that since i had worked on these embedded uh, systems like jetsons and raspberry pi and all that stuff it also helped me you know get an interview and uh, yeah so i would say those are the areas where generally uh, i would uh, want people to focus if they want to be a part of nvidia what is your favorite experience working at NVIDIA? Has anything changed in the last two years because after NVIDIA becoming 2 trillion mark, do you think anything has changed in your life? Uh, well, I'll answer your first question, the favorite experience. I think, uh, I would say mostly around the GTC time frame, so where we have this huge conference. It reminds me of those college days uh, where we used to have hackathons and we used to do an all-nighter and all that stuff. So here also at the company from uh, junior most engineer to the senior most engineer are all working towards having a great conference and creating demos and all that stuff. And once we do that, once we are at the show floor and the demo area, presenting it to our uh, customers, developers and all that stuff is a whole new experience. So that I think is uh, the best part about it. Amazing. I love the conferences here too. Like, yeah. Especially being in Bay Area, the conferences are world's best. Yep. Now, Definitely. talking about anything changed in the last two years? Uh, in terms of uh, work, I'm, uh, I'm not really sure if it changed, but I see a lot of uh, push to generative AI in general uh, in all the tech companies. So, so that has been a huge change. And even in robotics, there has been a huge push because of the whole Gen AI uh, coming along and LLMs and all that stuff. So I would say in that area, yeah, there has been a little bit more push. But uh, in terms of work, it has been uh, the same, I would say, for me at least. Uh, I, was, I used to work in the robotics uh, team or uh, domain back then and I'm still there. So enjoying the work. So yeah. I mean, for me, the best change I see is the new building. Like you used yeah. to work there. Now it's the new headquarters which are so amazing. Your favorite perk of working at NVIDIA? Favorite perk? I would say the team itself, like the working culture and all that stuff is so amazing here. Uh, I love it, like everyone is so helpful and the and best part is uh, 
I get to work with so ma- so many talented engineers, get to learn a lot from them. So I think that's the best perk that you pe- or any engineer can have at this time of their career. Absolutely, it's always the people, yeah. and especially everyone's so approachable. We got to see Jensen Wong in the building. Right. It was so surreal, yeah. like amazing. And any final advice to students who want to prepare for you know the big tech companies, uh, who who also think that it's currently their duty to also learn AI, just like you did AI right. in your engineering. Right. So how can an engineer prepare themselves the best for big tech companies i think it's very important to know your uh, niche where you want to work i mean obviously if you want to be an average engineer then you do what other average engineers are doing but if you want to be a unique engineer just find your uh, domain of expertise work towards it uh, and then i think apply if you if nvidia has a role in that domain apply if not then you can apply to any other company but yeah uh find your ex- expertise uh, find your domain work towards it and that should be good amazing thank you so much right. piyush it was very nice talking to you and thank you so much for showing us the campus yeah. beautiful